Hi, welcome to Community Meditation. I'm Jonna. I'm a meditation teacher in Southern California, and I offer free live streamed weekly meditations called Community Meditation. And our goal is to make Community Meditation the largest weekly gathering of meditators in the world. So I'm really happy that you're here with us tonight. Um, oftentimes people are intimidated by meditation and they ask me questions like, so how long a day do you meditate for? Or how long can you sit for? And this got me thinking, um, I, I don't really think about how long I sit for. I'm fortunate that um, I often have large blocks of time, but also I don't really impose that kind of a restriction on myself. So if I only have two minutes, I use those two minutes. In fact, making the meditations a part of our life off of the cushion or weaving the practices into our lives are when they really come alive and mean something in our lives. So tonight I'm going to share with you a practice that you can do at any point during your day, regardless of how much time you have. It's really easy, and it also is the trick to being able to sit for long periods of time. I'm going to teach you how to deal with those uncomfortable feelings in your body or those pleasant feelings in your body that might be distracting during a meditation. So let's get started. Find a comfortable seat, palms resting down on your knees, grounding through your seat as you lift through the crown, finding length in the spine, making plenty of room in the body for the breath. Rest the gaze downward. Slightly tilt your chin towards your chest. And feel the opening that this creates in the back of your throat for your breath. Now just breathe. Without altering your breath to what you think it should be, just tune into what's happening for you right now. Rise and fall of your body with each breath. Begin to move from the thinking mind into the feeling body. Good. Once you can begin to connect with feeling, let's all connect with one another, all of the other meditators who have joined you this evening in this practice for inner peace, to create a more peaceful world. Notice the feelings that arise when you connect with this intention and the collective energy.
Now let's all take a deep breath. In through the nose and out through the mouth. Inhale. Release. Good. Now notice the grounding pressure of the body. Wherever you feel it most. The pressure of your feet on the floor or the pressure of your legs or bottom on the chair. Settle into that felt sense of pressure. When the mind wanders, gently bring it back to this feeling of gentle pressure. Gently bring the mind back to the grounded feeling of pressure. Now, bring awareness to any part of the body, such as a foot or hand, a leg or a part of the torso, sense the physical feeling in that part of the body. Whether unpleasant, pleasant, or neutral. Without trying to change that feeling in any way, just be aware of it in a gentle, friendly way. With a sense of acceptance and kindness a sense of deep allowing.
you might notice a reaction to the feeling, like a wish for it to go away. If this happens, just be aware of that reaction in the same gentle, accepting way without trying to change or solve it. If the physical feeling changes of itself, just let it be present to whatever feeling replaces it in the same way. Now, if you need to, you can stretch out the body. If you're more experienced, just stay with it. Next, we're going to bring to mind a slightly unpleasant feeling something you've been struggling with recently, an emotional feeling. Rest the gaze downward. To help bring this feeling to mind, think of a situation that evokes the feeling something you've been worrying or anxious about. A feeling of urgency about something you have to do. Maybe the feeling of being a bit overwhelmed by something in your life. or feeling frustrated or irritated by someone or something. Maybe you've been feeling sad about something. Notice how this feeling feels. Not just in your thinking mind, but within your being. Like the feeling of tightening up from worry or urgency.
or the twinge of anxiety and fear. The burning feeling of frustration or the heavy feeling of sadness. Bring awareness to the emotion as you feel it within. with a sense of deep acceptance and kindness. Like a friend being quietly present to a friend. without being enmeshed in the feeling, without rejecting it. Without trying to solve or change anything in it. without ruminating about why you have it. Be with any troubled feeling that arises, like being with a troubled friend, without imposing any agenda on your friend, without trying to get him or her to change in any way. You're just quietly present to him with warmth and kindness. Just like your friend, don't impose any agenda on the feeling to make it go away, change or figure it out. Just be aware of what it feels like within. With a sense of acceptance and warmth toward it.
by being with feelings in this safe, friendly way. Feelings may trust, open, and reveal underlying feelings. So just accept whatever feelings further arise in a gentle, welcoming way without trying to solve or change anything in them. You may find your mind resting right in the marrow of a feeling, which may settle into a place of deep warmth, calm, and peace from within. If this happens, just let it happen without seeking such a thing to happen. Now, let the mind release its frameworks, relax and fall totally open. With all senses open, let the mind be completely unconfined wide open. Let all patterns of thought and feeling that arise in this openness of mind. Just relax, unclench, unwind or release. Like patterns on water, letting all be.
before moving, just rest in the atmosphere of the meditation. Allow your body to record this feeling. And as you're ready, gently lift the gaze. Good work tonight. It was a long time meditating if you're brand new. But the practice can be applied at for any length of time. If you have just a minute or two, drop into the body. You can focus on um, the feeling of pressure wherever your body is making contact with the floor or the chair. Just rest into that felt sense of pressure. You can also do it with an emotion. Just sitting quietly and noticing whatever feelings arise. Or you can bring to mind a specific feeling that you've been struggling with. and notice how the feeling feels rather than how you could describe it in your mind. So notice if there's a burning sensation or a tightness or clenching or if um, the breath speeds up. And just be with the feelings that arise in the same way you would be with a troubled friend. Just deep acceptance and kindness And you might be able to already notice that these meditations can be deeply healing. So I want you to try that for the next couple of weeks. I'll be away for the next two Wednesdays on retreat with Sophie Rinpoche. So if you'd like to sort of join me in that retreat, then I invite you to read one of his books called Carefree Dignity. And I'll leave the link below on the YouTube video. So if you'd like, you can read that book while I'm away over the next two weeks. Um, you're welcome to email me any questions that you have. And then we'll be opening up the chat next week if you have any questions about the book. I thank you all for being here. Let's dedicate the merit that we've generated. This is done just like making a wish. So basically, we've done something virtuous with our time here. There are a lot of things that we could be doing, but you all chose to come here and cultivate some inner peace and we can share this merit that we have generated with with everyone so just like making a wish we're going to share the merit and you can think something like i'm dedicating this to the well-being of all or the enlightenment of all if you'd like close your eyes connect with that intention Connect with the other meditators who have joined you this evening. Feeling that sense of community. And together we'll dedicate the merit with the sound of the bell. Thank you.